We've all heard it, breakfast is the most important meal of the day. But is it really true? Does skipping breakfast spell disaster for our health and well-being? The answer, like many things in nutrition, is not so simple. The emphasis on breakfast stems from some solid reasoning. After a night of fasting, breakfast kickstarts our metabolism, providing energy for the day ahead. Studies have linked eating breakfast to various health benefits, including better weight management and improved insulin sensitivity. However, recent years have seen a rise in alternative eating patterns, challenging the traditional view of breakfast. Intermittent fasting in particular has gained popularity, prompting many to ditch breakfast altogether. Ultimately, the best approach is the one that aligns with your body, lifestyle, and health goals. While breakfast has long held its reign as the most important meal, an increasing number of people are choosing to skip it altogether. Whether due to time constraints, changing dietary trends, or simply a lack of morning appetite, breakfast skipping has become more common. Some studies suggest that skipping breakfast may have downsides, particularly for weight management. Research has linked breakfast skipping to increased calorie intake later in the day, potentially leading to weight gain. However, other research paints a different picture. Some studies have found no significant link between skipping breakfast and weight gain or adverse metabolic effects. The conflicting findings highlight the complexity of the breakfast debate. Factors such as individual metabolism, genetics, activity levels, and overall dietary patterns can all influence how our bodies respond to breakfast or the lack thereof. Fasting, in its various forms, is not a new concept. Throughout history, cultures have practiced fasting for religious, spiritual, or health reasons. Intermittent fasting, unlike traditional calorie restriction diets, focuses on you eat rather than you eat. It involves cycling between periods of eating and voluntary fasting on a regular schedule. One popular method is the 16-8 method, which involves fasting for 16 hours each day and restricting eating to an eight hour window. Another approach is alternate day fasting, where individuals alternate between days of normal eating and days of significantly reduced calorie intake. Proponents of intermittent fasting tout its potential benefits, including weight loss, improved insulin sensitivity, reduced inflammation, and even protection against chronic diseases. While more research is needed to fully understand the long-term effects of intermittent fasting, the existing evidence suggests that it may offer certain health advantages. While intermittent fasting has gained significant popularity, it's essential to look at the scientific evidence supporting its purported benefits. Research on intermittent fasting is still in its early stages, but studies have provided some insights into its potential effects on the body. One area of interest is weight loss. Studies have shown that intermittent fasting can be as effective as traditional calorie restriction diets for short-term weight loss. Beyond weight loss, intermittent fasting has shown promise in improving insulin sensitivity, a key factor in metabolic health. Insulin resistance, a condition where cells become less responsive to insulin, is a hallmark of type 2 diabetes. Furthermore, research indicates that intermittent fasting may have anti-inflammatory effects. Some studies suggest that intermittent fasting may help reduce inflammation markers in the body, potentially lowering the risk of chronic diseases. Section 5 weight loss and beyond potential benefits. While weight loss is often a primary motivator for trying intermittent fasting, research suggests that its potential benefits extend beyond shedding pounds. Emerging evidence indicates that intermittent fasting may positively impact various aspects of health, ranging from metabolic function to brain health. Intermittent fasting has been linked to improvements in several cardiovascular risk factors, such as lower blood pressure, improved cholesterol levels, and reduced triglycerides. Moreover, studies have explored the potential benefits of intermittent fasting for brain health. Research in animals has shown that intermittent fasting may promote neuron growth and protect against neurodegenerative diseases like Alzheimer's and Parkinson's disease. While more research is needed to determine if these benefits translate to humans, the findings offer intriguing possibilities. Intermittent fasting may also impact cellular health by promoting a process called autophagy. Section 6. The Flip Side Considerations and Precautions While intermittent fasting shows promise for certain individuals, it's crucial to acknowledge that it's not a one-size-fits-all approach. 
One common side effect of intermittent fasting is hunger, especially during the initial adjustment period. Other potential side effects include headaches, fatigue, irritability, and difficulty concentrating, particularly during the fasting window. Furthermore, certain individuals should approach intermittent fasting with caution or avoid it altogether. Pregnant or breastfeeding women, individuals with a history of eating disorders, and those with certain medical conditions, such as diabetes or low blood pressure, should consult with their healthcare provider before attempting intermittent fasting. Starting with shorter fasting windows and gradually increasing the duration can help the body adjust. Staying hydrated, listening to your body's hunger cues, and ensuring adequate nutrient intake during eating windows are crucial for a safe and successful experience. Section 7. Who should think twice? While intermittent fasting can be a beneficial dietary approach for some, it's not suitable for everyone. Pregnant and breastfeeding women should avoid intermittent fasting, as their bodies require a consistent supply of nutrients to support the growth and development of their babies. Individuals with a history of eating disorders, such as anorexia or bulimia, should also avoid intermittent fasting. People with certain medical conditions, such as diabetes, low blood pressure, or kidney or liver problems, should consult with their healthcare provider before attempting intermittent fasting. If you're considering intermittent fasting, it's crucial to talk to your doctor first, especially if you have any underlying health conditions or are taking medications. They can help you determine if intermittent fasting is right for you and guide you on how to do it safely. Embrace the uniqueness of your body, experiment with different approaches, and find what makes you feel your best. Section 8. Finding your fit breakfast or fasting. With the ongoing debate between breakfast and intermittent fasting, it's natural to wonder which approach reigns supreme. The best choice for you depends on your individual needs, preferences, lifestyle, and health goals. If you're someone who thrives on routine and feels your best with a nourishing breakfast, then sticking to a regular breakfast routine may be the optimal choice. On the other hand, if you're someone who naturally doesn't feel hungry in the morning or prefers to eat later in the day, then intermittent fasting might be a suitable option. Experiment with different fasting windows and find a schedule that aligns with your lifestyle and preferences. Remember, the key is to choose an approach that you can sustain long-term and that supports your overall well-being. Both breakfast and intermittent fasting can be part of a healthy lifestyle, and the best choice is the one that makes you feel your best, both physically and mentally. Section 9. Listening to your body's cues. In the quest for optimal health and well-being, it's easy to get caught up in the latest dietary trends and expert opinions. Paying attention to hunger and fullness signals is paramount when deciding whether to eat breakfast or try intermittent fasting. If you wake up feeling hungry and energized, honor your body's request for nourishment with a nutritious breakfast. Conversely, if you find that you're not particularly hungry in the morning and naturally gravitate towards later meals, experimenting with intermittent fasting might align better with your body's natural rhythm. Remember, there's no need to force yourself to eat if you're not hungry or restrict food if your body is craving nourishment. Trust your intuition and make choices that feel both physically and mentally satisfying. Section 10. Making informed choices for your health. Navigating the world of nutrition can feel like navigating a maze. However, by arming yourself with knowledge, listening to your body, and seeking personalized guidance, you can make informed choices that support your overall well-being. When deciding whether to eat breakfast or try intermittent fasting, it's essential to consider your individual needs, preferences, and health goals. Consulting with a registered dietitian or healthcare professional can provide personalized guidance based on your unique circumstances. Remember, there's no one-size-fits-all approach to nutrition. Embrace the uniqueness of your body, experiment with different approaches and find what makes you feel your best. Section 11. The Future of Eating – A Personalized Approach As we delve deeper into the complexities of nutrition science, it's becoming increasingly clear that a personalized approach to eating is the key to optimizing health and well-being. The future of eating lies in understanding our individual needs and tailoring our dietary choices accordingly. The debate between breakfast and intermittent fasting highlights the importance of this personalized approach. 
Factors such as genetics, metabolism, lifestyle, and personal preferences all play a role in determining what works best for each person. As technology advances, we can expect even more personalized nutrition guidance. Wearable devices, genetic testing, and microbiome analysis are providing valuable insights into our unique biology, allowing us to make more informed decisions about our dietary choices. The future of eating is about moving away from rigid dietary rules and embracing a more flexible and personalized approach that honors our individual needs and empowers us to make choices that support our long-term health and happiness.